All right, guys, even here. And this video is not going to be so much about bodybuilding necessarily, but this person that we're going to talk about has a pretty well built body. It's Brad Castleberry, and he is basically known for many things, one of them being those heavy weights that he's lifting that are supposedly fake. Most likely fake. Nobody has proved it, but they probably are. Whether those weights are real or fake, his body is definitely not fake, his physique is speaking for itself, he does look very very impressive, and I don't know why he's not competing in bodybuilding, I understand him not competing in powerlifting, since his weights are probably fake, he would just embarrass himself, but as far as bodybuilding, he does have the physique, he does have the physique, and he used to compete when he was younger, but now he probably decided to quit doing it, because it is taking a toll on your physical health and your social life and many things, and he's probably making a good living just from being an Instagram celebrity. You can watch him doing some crazy lifts, for example, this barbell row with an insane weight. I don't know how much weight is here, but the bar is not bending, and this is obviously fake weight. Um, you can also see him benching, actually, 675 with his body weight of 220 which is totally insane, he would be the strongest person in the world right now if this was true, but obviously it's not, it just, it's pretty obvious that it's not, and uh, we can talk about it for, for days, but let's just skip that topic, and uh, you can watch Nick Strength and Power's video, he made a lot of videos about this, and yeah, it's pretty much obvious that he's lifting fake weights, it's clear. He never proved that, he never proved that he isn't, he never went on a competition, he accepted so many challenges, from other strongmen and bodybuilders, never really done any of them. However, there is another YouTuber who is obsessed with Brad Castleberry even more so than Nick Miller from Nick's Strength and Power, and this guy's name is Kenny Ko. He's a YouTuber, he's kind of a vlogger, he creates all kinds of drama, nothing really in specific, he's just vlogging and, um, I don't know, posting stuff that is interesting, funny, I don't know, if you like that kind of stuff, you may like his channel, check it out if you want. And you can see this whole video of him, he goes to expos all the time and he's basically trolling other people. And he is trolling Brad so much, he's trying to expose him. And he asked him actually to do a boxing match, kind of an MMA fight. And uh, all the revenue from it on his YouTube channel or their YouTube channels will be or would be given away as charity. So let's take a look at this video and let's actually see what happened. Like a charity boxing thing where if you want to like set it up, you know, you could take some swings on me, you know, we battle it out in a boxing ring. Char oh. Charity. And then all proceeds that like the monetary value brings in from a YouTube video. Oh yeah, that'll be sick. Goes to a charity. I think it's even better. So it's like a win-win. Uh, you get to like swing like MMA, on me. Yeah. MMA, like wrestling. I'm, I'm down, man. Like, hey, I, I, I'm down with I'm the real deal, man. There's nothing uh, about me that's not down. Uh, it's like I'm in it to win it today. I, like, I, like I, I, uh, I'm not... Don't come here thinking this... Hey, we're gonna come to... Hey. Yes, I'm down, little guy. Need That's the quote. That's the quote. Yes, I'm down, little guy. Let's so, my first impression on this video was Brad is definitely on something. Is this just a pre-workout or something heavier than that? Or is he just that kind of a personality? I don't know. But he seems a bit too energetic. Hey, we're gonna come to hate. Hey, we're gonna come to hate. Anyways, he did accept the challenge. He accepted it, so is the fight going to happen? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. This is like a millionth time that he accepts a challenge and never really does it. But with this guy, maybe they're gonna organize some kind of a fake fight. So maybe we are gonna see these two guys fighting in a, in a match, in a boxing match or MMA fight, whatever it is. But I don't think this is gonna happen really. Although it would be really fun, because there is a big history between these two guys. Um, there is a lot of drama. He is the one, I mean, Kenny K.O. is the one who was trying to expose Brad for so long. He never really succeeded. I mean, you can always just argue, is Brad fake or not? We don't know that for sure, but it's like 90% sure, 99% sure, because all things point to that, and uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. If this fight actually happens, I will be the first one to cover it. This is very interesting, but I don't think really it's gonna happen. I just wanted to cover this for you guys, so 
Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section below. And do you think Bradley Castleberry is actually lifting real weights? But I don't think any of you guys are that naive, so just skip that question. The question that I have for you guys is, is this match going to happen, this fight? And who would win it? Tell me in the comment section below, who would win this fight? And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and to subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.